everyone today I want to explore a color palette and I'm kind of in the mood of experimenting today so for my yellow I will pick the Asia green yellow and for my red I will have deep scarlet and then for my blue I actually have two blues so that the indigo which probably will create quite a muted and dark color palette overall I would imagine but I also want to try it with the uh, glacier turquoise which is an interesting one so whenever you're going to include a color that has uh, pigment separation and strong granulation in there it will be picked up throughout other colors so through Asia green yellow and deep scarlet I would imagine usually that's what happens it depends on colors and opacity of the color so I know that a is a green yellow is transparent deep scarlet I can't quite remember um, it doesn't say here on the tube but we'll find out in a minute to be swatching these I am going to use a couple of um, elements from my color palette stamping set so this stamp set is available on Etsy Luna Creates and you have loads and loads of different um, elements, 10 in total. And I will be using this uh, petal here and a center. So I've got two centers, slightly bigger, well, actually three, a very large one and a small one. So the small one today with this small petal and it would create a daisy. Um, you can also just do swatches just with this petal without the daisy and I fit the three uh, primary colors and then three on each side here and two at the bottom but I also will show you how to make an equal number so if you want two two and two um, I can show you that as well it doesn't fit in all three in them or if you did a bit of more of overlapping across all of the petals you could potentially still uh, get the third one in at the bottom as well and I'm going to use a smaller brush because of this size my usual Jackson's Quill Tan Zero is going to be slightly too big so I'm going to I'm just looking for my brush here so I love using this one here Princeton Neptune 4 I've got some water, I've got a mixing tray and a few colors. So I will squeeze out deep red into here. I think it might have separated a little bit. I have given my Daniel Smith <laughs> a break and um, I started using them again. So some of them have separated. So we've got a bit of indigo now indigo is very dark very strong so we will need a minimal amount of it and the way I start with these sort of mixing exercises is by doing the primary colors first so we've got all three here so let's start by Asia green yellow and that's gonna go here so essentially we're creating a color wheel that's going to look slightly different uh, than this traditional color wheel right here which brings it like fun to the swatching and mixing game okay so then we have three spaces and actually this one needs to be mixed up properly this is very strong color so don't need that much of it as well so this is the Daniel Smith deep scarlet and and then for our third color going to use a little bit of indigo
Okay, so we can start mixing now and let's see what happens. Don't have that much space left here to mix, so I'm going to bring in another mixing area. Let's start by bringing Aza Green Yellow in here. And tiny bit of the red. So we get an orange. It is remarkable how you still can get an orange when you add red to a um, green yellow. So there's obviously still a lot of yellow in this pigment because it is a green yellow in essence. But yeah, you would think you'd get mud, but you don't. And it's something I have learned through my mixing journeys. I haven't seen anyone introduce this color. So if you start seeing some other YouTubers do that and they don't mention my name as it happens, um, you know where it came from. Okay, so a bit more of the red. And now we have like a red orange. In fact, I could have gone with a bit more red, I guess, here. It's a little bit too similar to the color before. So I'll add just a tiny bit more of the red into this. So we still have some of the green yellow, but just not as much. Okay. So that's a good color. Now let's see what happens when we mix these two together. They're obviously both muted and I'm expecting some kind of muted, um, say violets, maybe muted, something like that. So we'll see. As it happens, my memory card got full, uh, but let's continue. Not sure where it switched off, but we got this um, interesting color here. And now I'm going to go into indigo again and add more of it. And now we're getting to these gray tones, like a, I'd say like a gray violet, an interesting color. So if this blue was granulating, now this color would be granulating to a degree as well. So these are not bad actually, they're interesting, they're more neutral. So you can see the color palette is quite beautiful actually, quite rich. So now let's do the same with, I'm just going to clean off this bit of opera pink, what it seems like. And I'm going to use this area for the green mixes right here. So we've got the indigo and Asia green yellow. So let's load a generous amount of is a green yellow into here like that and then touch by touch I'm going to add a tiny bit of the indigo like so now this is a beautiful beautiful um, <clears throat> I'd say olive green But I'd go in the middle because I feel like I can push the color both ways still. So this is your perfect sub green, in fact. So if you wanted to mix up your own sub green and see if you can get an interesting version, try these two colors. So something that is like a gold green type of a color with indigo. See what you get. So to that, I'm going to add more of the uh, Asa Green Gold. And we get a lighter version. This is quite pretty. 
and then let's add more of the indigo and I'm expecting a beautiful deep dark green quite moody So there you go how pretty is that so now let's try the exact same thing but this time with the blue now when you're overlapping the petals you might have the color run in so I'll show you with um, less colors around it so two on each two between each I mean so I'm going to use my acrylic block, which is also, by the way, available. And they go really good with the color palette, the Swatch Joy and the Color Theory stamp sets. So the little circle goes on. The circle is here to uh, just give us a good idea where to place these petals roughly in the middle of the paper and I can see it's not. If you wanted to make things more comfortable for yourself you can use like a ruler and then you can see that way. In fact let me restamp it because I know it will be bothering me. So this is roughly where I want it like halfway and that's where I will do it. I'll show you what you can do if you just create a mistake it's fine because when you use a light colored ink to stamp with it really doesn't matter so now that would be on the same level and we're going to use the top circle now the petal goes on pinking it up and I will start with the top because this is where the yellow will go and then one to the side, that's our red. And our blue will go about here. Roughly speaking. So now we have to stamp two in this area, squash them a little bit, which is okay. You can just play around to find the best way to do that. So do you see why I have bigger space there for three but doesn't matter I'll just make a bigger gap in between them and we'll be fine so now we have two two and two again so the equal number between them and last one there we go so there is our daisy so we're going to repeat the same thing just with this blue instead and see how one color being swapped will change the colors. Now, of course, this will stay as it is, uh, but this area here, so from red, that will be changed because we're not using the blue here, obviously. So let's do the same thing. I've got nice puddle here so like that the paper sizing um, sometimes is a little bit funny this is the Jackson's uh, sketchbook and it can sometimes act strangely but it's fine for this sort of thing for swatching um, so then red again now let's do the red once you stamp this daisy a couple of times you can even practice on a piece of paper to see what uh, gap distance you should keep it then becomes uh, easier to navigate okay so nothing different here but now 
we will swatch the blue, which I have here. Oh, I need to change water. Well, the clean water, we can now continue. I'm going to clean off a bit of this contaminated color. And now I will swatch it. So this is like a turquoisey blue, which is like a cobalt blue, I'd say, with something in there. Let's see. PG50 and PV60. Yeah, PG50 is cobalt blue. Um, this is a card, I have swatch card from the Roman Schmal. And it's interesting how every other brand has a PG50 which looks different. With these colors, with the glacier colors, you need quite a bit of water to make things flow and look interesting. Otherwise, they'll be just solid if you pack on too much. So let's add a little bit of red. I think this might be a bit much. Yeah, so this is a bit much. Anyway. I'll have to add more blue into that. So there it is. So similar to this color, actually, but I'm expecting some interesting granulations. Now we'll add more. It's like a grayish blue, but needs a lot more water. Hmm. So far, can't see much going on, but let's carry on. Now, this color with the Asa green yellow, something tells me it will be a very interesting one. So, let's start again with the Asa green yellow. And then we will add just a touch of blue. Oh wow. It's quite a juicy green that one. Very interesting. I kind of want to push it more towards blue, so I'll add a bit more blue. See what happens. Hmm, that's not a color I like. But anyway, I'll swatch that. No, don't like it at all. Let's see what happens if I add more blue. That's a bit better now, but I think I want even more blue. So we get to this like a lovely turquoise. Yeah, that's more like it. So that's that. And then to that, I will add more of that Azo again. Right into this corner. Trying not to get the other color in. So that gives us a lovely juicy green. It's actually very similar to Gold Green by Daniel Smith. So it's very pretty. So you can see this side is still quite sort of on a muted and then we're starting to get a bit juicier around that corner. So hopefully that showed you how just one color uh, being swapped for another creates a big difference to a color palette. But imagine then swapping two colors and keeping one of them there or altogether bringing three different colors. So 
the the possibilities are endless and the more you do this type of exercises the more fun it becomes the more confident you become in your uh yeah drawing and things like that and then what you could do or color mixing rather the more confident you become with your color mixing the other thing you could do is in the center here you could actually uh also create like a uh, neutral so you could mix all three colors all of the three uh, primaries and then put it right in the middle so that you know what neutral you'd get from that color that's something you could do I prefer the center to be left white but it's just aesthetic I will let things dry because I want to see how the granulation comes through best thing to do is to leave it to dry naturally so I'll see you in a second so things are pretty much dry so let me show you a nice little close-up so hopefully you can see that this this sort of glacier turquoise has brought in some beautiful granulation and pigment separation you can still see this color pop through in both of these mixes and this one here for some reason in the green I can't see it that much not sure why um, but when we look into this little wet paint mix up you can actually see that there's loads of lovely um, separation going on it's really beautiful but on paper it didn't come through as much um, yeah, so that's the beauty about using different colors. So depending what you like in your art, whether you like the color to be smooth or you like to bring some interest by creating texture, you can just swap colors around. So I hope you enjoy this video and let me know in the comments below how you feel about this color palette. I know you usually enjoy these sort of mixing videos, so I love reading your uh, comments. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. So see you soon.